to another brand new episode of Mystery Box Monday. We've got a few mail packages today, probably six or seven of them. Thank you very much for joining. We've got some mystery packs that people put together that they sell, and also we've got some gifts that have come in as well. So thank you very much, everybody. Let's go ahead and check all this stuff out. By the way, if you do have something you'd like to send to us for an upcoming episode of Mystery Box Monday, you can send it right here. Jab Family Attention Mystery Box Monday, so I know it's on an eBay package. P.O. Box 402 plus an EODPA 15676. I guess now I open up my eBay packages here when I buy stuff as well, so it doesn't really matter too much, I guess. But thanks for joining us. We're going to start things off with the 80s Kid Collectibles. This is from Marcus Fossil. He does great stuff. We probably feature his stuff on Mystery Box Monday at least 10 times, and they're always really nice. This is the greatest $10 pack of sports cards ever. Series one, every pack will have an auto or a relic. That's right on point with those Stay Classy packs. There's also a Stay Classy $10 pack, which are fantastic as well. We'll take a look at these and see what we have from the 80s kid. It says the 80s kid collectibles presents the greatest $10 pack of sports cards ever. There's 20 cards. That's what you got to search the title there to find it on eBay. 20 cards, 10 to 15 will be rookie cards, and they'll be current and relevant players. Packs will be stacked with color parallels, refractors, numbered cards, and also short prints of notable players. And every pack will have one Hall of Famer vintage card. Every pack has at least one auto and relic. And there's some chasers as well, such as a Wayne Gretzky, a Tony Gwynn rookie. And there's some boom cards in there, which would be chasers. $10 a piece. If you buy five, you'll get one free. It's from the 80s kids. There is his Instagram QR code. And again, type in the greatest... $10 pack of sports cards ever on eBay to bring this up. It's always great stuff that Marcus has. $10 is less than the price of a hanger box. About uh, right on par. Maybe not too much more than the price of a fat pack. And this is what you get. He sent us two of them here. So we got two $10 packs to check out. Let's see what we've got. A whole team bag worth, which is about 20 cards. I already see a numbered Alex Kirloff on the back side. That's going to be a 2022 card. Here we go. So it's going to be multi-sport, so you'll have to forgive me if I do pass up a great basketball, football, hockey player. That's just going to happen. There's Bryce Miller, which is numbered to 499. CJ Stroud rookie card. I recognize that name because he was an Allen and Ginter last year. You got Aiden Smith. There's Stephen Curry. That's a recognizable name. Ezekiel Tovar from Bowman's Best. Kyrie Irving, we've got Short Apostle. It's his first Bowman mojo. And Kyle Teal from the Red Sox right there. Let's see what else we've got. Jordan Westberg. Carl Malone. That's probably going to be our vintage Hall of Fame card right there. It's going to be a 1988-89 Fleer card, it looks like. That's pretty awesome. Chris Sale numbered to 359, and our autograph is a numbered Alex Kirilov right there, which would be numbered to 250. It's a nice auto right there. Not bad for 10 bucks at all. Actually, a great deal. Here's our next one. So, if you like all sports, this will be up your alley. A Riley Green rookie card starts this next one off. There's a Wyatt Langford collegiate card from. Prism draft picks. We've got Tyler Soderstrom first in there. Kevin Garnett, Jackson Chorio prospect card. There's Tom Brady. Always good to get a Brady card. Ellie De La Cruz pro debut from last year is a nice one. Bomb squad Aiden O'Connell. Alan Serda to 150 on the prospect Bowman Chrome. Donovan Mitchell. There's Jordan Walker. Tiger Woods, upper deck Goodwin Champions card. And the vintage card is going to be an old... Rookie review, Chipper Jones from Triple Play, probably in like 94 Triple Play. That's exactly what it is, 94 Triple Play. And we've got Trent Murphy. It's going to be the autograph. It's from 2014 Limited. Don't know a thing about Trent Murphy, but he might be good. I don't know anything about football. But thank you very much, Marcus, for sending that over. I really appreciate that. Let's get into the next item of business. We've got some more of these mystery packs right here. Let's check it out. This is from David. Thank you, David, for submitting this. And here we go. It says, hey, Jabs. Just want to start off by saying how much we love your channel. You do a lot of great things for this amazing hobby, and we can't thank you enough. One of our favorite video series to watch is your Mystery Box Mondays. We love them so much that we decided to make some of our own. 
Each mystery pack is $20 and loaded with awesome hits. And each pack includes one auto or two relics, three refractors, parallels, or numbered cards, seven to ten rookies, no veteran base cards or junk wax, hits will be top-loaded, refractors will be sleeved, and rookies, prospects, and earn the team bag. There's also some awesome chaser cards, like a Tier 1 Paul Goldschmidt auto, a J.D. Martiz, Bert Martinez True Gold to 10, and many others. There's also some bulk deals that you can get, free packs when you buy multiple packs, Goes on to say, this is our first time trying Mystery Packs, so please feel free to give us feedback on the price, the cards, the packaging, and anything else we need to improve on. You can find these by typing in this title, DK Baseball Mystery Packs, or by the item number below. Also, feel free to check out the store, DK Collectibles, DK Sports Collectibles. We have a ton of awesome baseball and football cards with a 100% positive feedback rating, so the number that you want to go to, if you want to try one of these, it's 286 286- 075-513-455. That's the number. It'll take you right to the eBay site if there's any inventory left. From DK Sports Card, so let's check it out. $20 is not a bad price for a mystery pack. So when I'm going through this, the first thing I'm looking at is, are we going to get at least over $20 in return on our investment? I would hope so. Your packaging is decent. We start off with Christian Santana, number 275. We've got, that's going to be our autograph. And then we've got some team bags here. If it were me, to make it easier on myself, I would just put all these in one team bag. Let's see, we've got Eddie Murray, Reggie Jackson, Blake Snell. These will be the stars first. There's a Christian Yelich, Ben Baller card. Luis Sarise, and now we get to our rookies, Aaron Savali, Oscar Gonzalez first. Salvador Press Blue, some parallels, and a Honus Wagner number to $4.99. Also, I'm not sure if these are $20 each or if both of these is one pack. So I guess we'll get an idea when we open up this next one. If there's no auto in here, then I guess we'll know that this is two separate packs. The only thing I would say is that if you have the time, maybe get a nice little decal made up, make it look all nice and official. Here's our next pack. We've got, it's going to be some relics, Kyle Wright and Garrett Cole manufactured in there. So I, I do believe that's two separate packs. So this will be its own separate one. So $40 total in packs here. Kyle Wright and Garrett Cole are right there. Here we go with our two other packs. And you can let DK Sports Cards what you think of their packs in the comments as well. We've got a Joey Bart gold foil right there. Anthony Volpe rookie card is a good one. Mike Trout, Bryce Miller. Ken Griffey Jr., Daniel Lynch. Addison Coffey. Starvin will be, it's a chrome of Jazz Chisholm and a Max Clark first. So there's definitely a couple nice rookie cards in there with the Max Clark first and the Volpe as well. So thank you very much for that. I know that some people out there will probably say we want a guaranteed auto for sure. I think if you really wanted to juice it up a little, do an auto and relic. But overall, nice stuff, DK. Thank you very much for sending that in. Let me grab the next item. Let's go with... Oh, we do have the Nico pack. I know you guys love those Nico packs from over in, overseas in Italy. Let's do this one. This is an eBay purchase. What did I grab from eBay? Here it is. Let me open this receipt off of camera here so you can't see the seller's information i picked this up last week and i feel like i vastly overpaid for it i went heavy on it and i got it it's the jared jones independence day parallel numbered to 76 so you know how much i paid for this 41 dollars. i just went i put a 50 dollar max bid in with three seconds left and just let it ride I overpaid because I got an out of 50, the Mother's Day exact same card just a couple days ago. I think it was maybe Thursday. Um, I got the exact same card, which you would think, since it's out of 50, okay, this one sold for 40, and out of 50 is going to be more than that. You're probably paying, what, $60 for that? I got the out of 50 for $8.50, so I think I definitely overpaid for this, but I'm starting a rainbow of Jared Jones and also maybe Paul Skeens. Uh, the Paul Skeens, I'm not going to get the whole rainbow of his update cards. But Jared Jones, his rookie debut and his regular rookie from update. And then Paul Skeens. 
I don't have uh, I don't have much for skeins yet, but I do have a couple of the Jared Jones now, and that's going to look nice in a rainbow. Jared Jones started off the season very nicely, but injuries and everything really derailed him, and all his prices just dropped off the face of the earth. But I'm hoping he can bounce back. So let me put that up in the PC collection behind me. Little eBay purchase right there. Here's our next one. This is a gift. So check this out. Inside, we've got some cards. Let's see what we've got. Here's some coins. This is coming in from Alton. So Alton, thank you very much. It says... The MJ is for Sophia. Kobe is for Olivia. The autos are for the other girls. The coins are for your son. Some countries may no longer exist. Distribute the frames as you see fit. Please don't share my card info. I see your business cards in there too, so I'll keep that. That's pretty cool that you are, you're actually, I think you're in the same county as me actually, which is pretty awesome. So the kiddos, I just dropped them back at their mom's, so... I don't have them here to give these to them tonight, but I'll give them to them when I get them again in just a couple days. Joey Bard Auto right there. I'm, I'm telling you, my daughter Elsa is like super big into cards all of a sudden. Like we went to a card show and she's been all about it. We've got a Michael Jordan for Sophia right there. It's kind of funny that you sent this because she's literally upstairs right now installing MLB, not MLB, NBA 24 or whatever. I don't know. We solved off at GameStop today to look for cards, and they didn't have any, but Sophia's like, let's get a game. And she picked out a basketball game. So I'm going to go up there and have to... She's probably already practicing. She'll probably kick my butt. This is really nice. A Key Brian Hayes auto right there. So I'll just let the girls draft what they want. And we've got the Kobe for Olivia. She just had a game today, and uh, it's the closest game they've had. They lost by 12 points. They haven't had a win yet, but they got within eight points at one point. Still hoping that they get their first win. We'll see what we can do. So here's the frames for the minis. These will actually come in handy with Alan and Ginter coming out. I think actually this week I'll have some Alan and Ginter. So framed mini for Alan and Ginter. Very nice stuff. You put this inside of a top loader to keep that mini all nice and centered up. That's really cool. Thank you very much for those. And then some coins for my son. He's got a coin collection. We've got coins from... Looks like that's going to be France. We've got this one from I don't even know where. CCCP. We've got another one, CCCP. This is 50 francs, it looks like. So, yeah, I'll have to have him look up where these countries are from. And it's kind of cool. Thank you very much for this. He doesn't really have any overseas coins like this. Philippines right there. I guess you probably went to all these countries. That would be a cool idea. I haven't done too much traveling. I've only been to three countries in my life. That's from that's from East Africa right there. Pretty cool stuff right there. Thank you very much, Alton, for this stuff. For the gift, I really appreciate this. Oops, I dropped one. Put that in the bag for him. Thank you very much. But yeah, I've been to three countries been to the United States, obviously, Canada, and Spain. Next up, we've got a big one here. This is from Whatnot. What did Whatnot send me? All right, let's check it out. It's time to unbox these exclusive gifts from Whatnot. I haven't opened this up yet. I have an idea of what it probably is for. It is for the Whatnot Card Show number five, which is coming up not this weekend, but the next weekend. We'll be live. I think I'm signed up for two different dates during this card show. I think Friday the 7th and Sunday the 10th. We're always live on Sundays on Whatnot. But it looks like I'll be also doing it on Friday for two card shows. It's the biggest card show on earth. It's all sealed up. Let's see what's inside. A little free gift right here from Whatnot. We'll give you the invite code and everything here. So it looks like we have, there's the inside of the box, pretty cool. We have a special breaker pad that I'll be using for the Whatnot Show. It says Whatnot Card Show number five, so that just gets put down there. By the way, if you ever wonder what these are, these backdrops, they're just mouse pads. You can see the back of it. You can actually have these designed online. All you need is your 
like a JPEG of your logo or whatever you want on there. It's really cool. This was a JPEG. This was actually a gift for my birthday, I think two years ago. This one was put together. We've got stand-up display, so we can put some cards on display. We'll be doing mostly some breaks over and whatnot during the card show on the 7th and the 10th. I'm doing some Allen & Ginter updates, Stadium Club if it comes out by then, which I think it might. Uh, cosmic, a whole bunch of stuff, everything. But if you'd like to sign up for whatnot, use this link right there. It'll get you $15 for free to spend when you use that link to sign up. And also, if you'd like to become a seller and whatnot, there you go. There's the seller link. If you want to become a seller, you got to use that link right there. That affiliate code will give you $150 for free in matching funds when you sign up and make your first sale. So get signed up, start making some sales, and get paid extra money, $150 free of charge. So... Wednesdays and Sundays, we are live on Whatnot, so I hope to see you over there in a couple days on Wednesday. Thank you very much for that. Moving on from Jimmy. I took a peek into this one, and it looks like it's probably a gift because Paul Skeens is on the front, which is pretty awesome. I don't know if it's a gift for me or a gift for my daughter or Sophia or what. I did not see a note inside. Let me check one more time. So, no note in there. We got the Mojo Rookie right there, which is freaking awesome. Like, I've wanted this one for the PC. A Leover Peguero Rookie Auto. A Jordani De Los Santos Auto right there. Another Peguero Auto. Andy Rodriguez to four ninety nine. dollars A Quinn Priester Mojo. And an Andrew McCutcheon Mojo right there. So, very nice stuff right there. Um, I think... The Paul Skeens, if it's meant for me, I will gladly accept it and put it in with my PC up here. Got a stack of Paul Skeens, a small stack. Put that in with the Skeens. And the other ones, I'll let the girls, the autos, I'll let them take. My daughter's into the autographs. This one I'll give to Sophia. And thank you very much for that. So, Jimmy, again, there's no note there, but I have a feeling that that was a gift. And I really appreciate that. Very, very nice to you, Jimmy. Thanks so much for watching and being subscribed and all that good stuff. Alrighty, next. This is another gift here. I just got a notification that I'm watching a card that ends in 14 minutes. I gotta wrap this one up. I'm watching a Jared Jones clear acetate to 10, and I gotta win that one. Uh, that one's probably gonna go for some money. So we'll see if we can get it. This one is from Steve Z. It says, Hey Eric, nothing crazy, but I'm pretty sure you don't have these. All the best to you and the kiddos, and I hope Sophia is feeling better. There's a Shohei Otani and a Ronald Acuna Jr. I do not have either one of these, 4070 and the Otani 5050 card. Steve, thank you very much for these. I did not have either of them. I do like the Tops Now cards. I just bought the Paul Skeens at the card show, one that I didn't have of him and Otani facing off because we were at that game. So, Steve, awesome stuff. Steve does fantastic work for us. He is like our main moderator during Whatnot. So, Steve, thanks very much for all the help, and I really appreciate that, man. Here's the next one. This one, too. I took a peek inside. This one looks like a gift as well, and pretty crazy stuff, like Jared Jones Auto in there. And this one has a note, and it says, Dear Jabs family, just wanted to send you a gift as a congratulations on your engagement to Sophia. I heard you say you were collecting Jared Jones and Paul Skeens rookies, so I found some nice ones for you. I hope you can use these. Thanks for the countless hours of entertainment. You're one of the few YouTubers that film a video every day, and I watch each one. I wish both of you a very happy marriage from Robert S. Robert, thank you very much. I love filming videos every day, and with cards, there's always something to do. Whether it be a new box here, a new box there, a new release this week, a new release that week, a card show, a whole bunch of stuff, and a mail day video like today. An old box, throw box, th uh, throw box Thursday, throwback Thursday. And thank you very much for sending these in. Take a look. We've got a Jared Jones. That's his rookie. That's his rainbow foil. I am starting to collect Jared Jones. Trying to get a rainbow of his rookie and also his rookie debut. Like all of them, all numbered. And I don't think I have this one yet, so that's awesome. We've got a Jared Jones rookie relic right there as well. That's pretty sick right there. Jared Jones Rookie Relic. And Paul Skeens. I've actually pulled this card in, in breaks and won it a couple times. And uh, I there's three different Paul Skeens. Maybe this is the one that I should try to build a rainbow of because it is the least expensive of the Paul Skeens. You got, his, you got this card 
him and Grandal walking in. Then you've got his rookie debut, which is about half as much as his true rookie. And that's going to be impossible to get a rainbow of. But I want to try to get at least a couple of those numbered cards. Huge Paul Skeens fan right here. And that is really sick. And look at this. A blue Paul Skeens all-star rookie card. Royal blue right there. Pulled from, I assume, a blaster box or hanger box maybe. Or maybe even fat pack. I haven't done the fat packs yet. But that's really cool. So, Robert, thank you very much. And look at that. Jared Jones rookie auto. And it is numbered too. Numbered to one. 99 number four out of 199 jared jones so rob really cool stuff right here this this is going right into the pc stack jones and paul skeens collections really cool stuff thank you very very much for that i really appreciate that all right what else do we have in here let me see it we've got the nico box here we said we're going to do nico i probably got 10 minutes before i got to run upstairs and try to Try to win that card, that Jared Jones Acetate. Let's check this out. I think this is the last one here. Let's go with it. This is from Nico from Italy. We've been doing these packs every single Mystery Box Monday for months now. He sent so many of these in. And they just kept coming in. And I was like, what is this? No return address on any of it. And let's see what we've got. We'll take his information off camera. The note says, "Hello, Eric. I'm sending you a. I'm sending you a something card. I think this is Italian ball. Goodbye. So, Nico, thank you very much. We've got some Italian cards right here. Some looks like they're going to be. I don't even know what these are, but I will. What I just been doing with a lot of the stuff in Nico sends. There's Harry Potter right there. I've been tossing them into the." prize box at school what i'll probably do with these is make little packs out of them there's a basketball card undertaker that's pretty cool and it's in italian so nice stuff ray mysterio i would be shocked if we ever saw a football card is this going to be an italian 1000 yard club it's actually in english uh, pretty much everything that nico has ever sent to us or rick flair has been in italian so kind of cool Charlie Haas, Randy Orton, Bautista right there. I'm not a big Bautista fan. Put that one over there. Let's see what else we've got. I'd like to... My, my biggest uh, wrestling fan favorite was Stone Cold Steve Austin, The Rock. I like the most. And I like The Undertaker a lot as well. So The Undertaker I might have to keep for the PC. So thank you very much for those. Some cool wrestling cards in there. And... Oh, boy. I've got to edit this one now. Yep, I just got, I finally got Nikoed. This woman is naked. So I'm going to, oh boy. We've got a naked woman card right here. I have to edit this. I always try to do everything in one take, but there is a naked woman with uh, on display right here. So Nico, you got me. <laughs> I knew, I knew there was uh there's like a website here. I don't want any kids. But um, I was wondering if you were setting me up all this time. And there's going to be something in here crazy. And we've got naked women right there. So I always look through these. I'm, I'm not even going to look at the other ones on camera. i got to edit the... Because uh, I fully revealed that when I was looking through these for the first time. And uh, yeah. Just to be safe, I don't think I'm putting any of these in the prize box anymore. And I'm not going to look through the rest of them. Oh boy. Very interesting stuff right there. I don't know. I don't even want to check what's underneath there. So I'll have to edit this one out. Do a little bit of extra editing right there. Uh, <laughs> Nico, thank you very much. But um, I can't. Uh, I'm glad I wasn't doing this one live. Because I, I, I don't know if I could like lose my YouTube channel for that or get a strike or whatever. But I'll edit it out because we keep everything PG around here. And uh, thank you very much for watching, everybody. I'm going to go give Sophia her cards. I really appreciate that. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your evening. And I will see you all on Whatnot on Wednesday. Or I'll see you tomorrow on YouTube. And I'll go give Sophia these cards right now. Thanks for the gifts, folks. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later. Good night, everybody. Okay, she is up here training. She's up here training for the matchup. Okay. But I've got, I've got some presents for you here. Okay. People sent you. I want to warn you, the last card is crazy. 
somebody tried to get my channel banned by that last card. Really? Where do you see it? Don't don't show it on camera. Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan's for you. Andrew McCutcheon. And can you believe somebody sent that? For me? I no, I think it's for me, but I couldn't show it on camera. So okay. I'm gonna let you throw that in the trash. Okay. I'm not gonna keep <laughs> what that. What the heck? I know. Why would they send that? <laughs> it came from over in Italy. And Italians. Yeah. Now I gotta edit that out. So. <laughs> All right, I figured I'd just, because I have to edit the video, I figured I'd show your gift, and you ready for this? I am ready. Am I going down? You're going down. No way. Yeah, you are. If this is anything like the show, I've got this one in the bag. No. We'll see.